Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of Otaku L. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's wrong, Alda? What did you lose? <laughs> oh, burglar, oh my god, girl. Say that seven times fast, oh my god. I mean, you know what? <laughs> Remember how and um, fucking <laughs> JoJo Golden one. How fucking Jordos VA had to say Muda like how many times? The first time I watched that, I was like, bro, how you do that? Like. That that's a tongue twister of all tongue twisters. Not no seashell seashells by the seashore. Ugh, I hate saying that one because every single time I feel like I'm spitting like everything. It's so disgusting. But ugh. just imagine saying that so many times and praying to God that you don't mess up. I mean, yes, you get several takes, but oh my, woo! That's a lot of words. Mmm. Words, 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 words. Detective coma. <laughs> it's okay. Our cure melody is just, you know, she is what she is. It's okay. That's her prized possession. Probably have it in a box somewhere. Right? Hmm. It's got to be around here somewhere. Right? <laughs> hmm. No, no, no. I don't think it was stolen. It has to be in your room somewhere. The police aren't really going to do anything, so there's no reason to call them. Magical girl change! <laughs> Snuggle too if I love it. <laughs>
For her, possibly so, yes. <laughs> that voice changed up. <laughs> right? <laughs> You know what? I'm about to say something silly. Ain't that it right there on herself? Did you move it? Hmm. No. Mm -mm. I know, Serval, you, you're looking a little suspicious. Mm -mm. The pretty here is this questioning the heck out of the kimono friend. Uh, you know, because I was about to ask, why are we using cake flour in the dust for print? <laughs> well, that's obvious. <laughs> You! With the scotch tape? Right? Like, should we really be here?
<laughs> with the perpetrator side. Oh. She's right. We're busy. No, 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 no. Yeah, at least any type of glue, gorilla glue would have been fine. Hot glue. Uh, okay. You're like, you know what? Yeah, mm hmm You wasted my time for this. You're helping. Let's go. And she's just happy she gets to stay home. <laughs> cold in here. Definitely gonna go turn the air up after this.
I mean, well, you know, that's our pretty care for you. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to have all eyes on you. <laughs> You'll do fine. <laughs> what? You'll do fine, babe. <laughs> okay. I think she was trying to say it was actually her that did it and not her grandfather. Mm-hmm, should be. Oh. <laughs>
Oh no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh And we will definitely not see the conclusion of that until the final episode next week. Now, I'm happy she gets to be the archer. It's sweet, but... Baby is going to have to practice, practice, practice her butt off just to get this. I mean, yes, it's a lot of eyes on you. And especially if you don't get that third and final target. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> but no pressure. She's got this. It's just... Mm. Practice makes perfect. Now... I love the fact that with the first half of the episode, we had a detective moment. It was really cute. You got to kind of really pay the homage to Detective Conan in a nutshell. Or the, um, what the heck is that one game that I've heard? It's the, uh, the one game where it's the guy who's in court. He says, objection. I don't remember the name of the game. I know a new game is coming out because officially I watched, I kind of watched the showcase for Capcom, but really I was watching it for one of my other favorite YouTubers just to see him and such. Um, but they talked about it. Now, the fact is that yes, Koito was the one who broke the model and she fixed it with scotch tape. I mean, I... <laughs> it, it reminds me, like, yes, I thought the, the, the thought is sweet. Very sweet. It reminds me of, okay, so... I got a keychain of one of my best girls from E4DJ. And I I, I had it on my keys chain, on, on my keys for like a week. Then I took it off and I think it fell or something and my mom stepped on it. And my mom instantly was like, can I get you another one? I was like, no, you can't. I was like, because once they sell out, they sell out, that's it. And um, she was asking me, well, how much it was? And I was like, $27. And my mom looked at me like I was nuts, but I I bought it from like a third party um, Japanese website or Japanese slash American ask website because it was here. They they bought the thing, the keychain from Japan and they were reselling it. Um, and so their price was like, I think 15, 20 or 15 bucks. And then plus, you know, shipping, of course, um, was whatever because it was FedEx shipping. Uh, and I was like, I'm getting the cheapest because I don't need to pay about like 35, 40, 50 bucks just for this thing to get here tomorrow. I was like, I can wait. That's totally fine and such because we all know the most expensive thing I have bought is, of course, my gaming systems. <laughs> yes. Because uh, that was like a good $600, five, $600, yeah. Um, and then I think my least expensive thing that I bought, like, out of my stuff that I have, probably is the penguin drum figure, uh, the Princess of the Diamond. That was, like, under $200 because it was secondhand and it was sold um, for a really good price. So it came all the way from Japan and then didn't get a notification that it arrived at my house until... My neighbor was nice enough to say, hey, there's something in the back of your door, da 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 And I checked, and I was like, oh, it's here. Um, but I totally get it. Yes, anything, you know, something happens, and you break it on accident, and you're like, I want to do everything in my power to fix it. That's when you, you know, you immediately just go up and tell them. If you hide it, it just makes it more upsetting. Go and tell them, and then both of you can figure it out together and find a way on to fix it. It's okay. It happens. You just, you know, don't be scared to tell someone that you broke something. They're, yeah, they'll be mad at you for a couple of minutes. But then they'll get over it. It's okay. It takes time. Um, but I love the fact that her punishment was to watch all 43 episodes of the anime. 
<laughs> gave me feels of like watching if I ever got someone into pretty hair and being like, if they asked me, oh, DJ, where should I start? And then I'll be like, well, you need to start here. You don't always have to start at the first. You can start wherever and then you can go wherever. You don't have to go in the order that I am in where I've like reaction wise, I've started at Kitta Kitta and I've gone all the way to the current series and such. And now I'm re-reacting to older seasons including Kitta Kitta when I do watch that and that's gonna be a really world one because it's gonna be different thoughts of how I was when I was like in my early 20s to now and be like hmm, yeah remember this <laughs> but seriously yes I think she will do very good next week if that is going to be what the episode for the finale is it's gonna be really cool and really enjoyable and honestly I cannot wait but yeah I hope her grandfather feels better like at least by the, at the end of the episode. I still do kind of wish, especially from last week or the last couple of weeks, that with the flashbacks or any moment where she's gotten to see her mom, that we as an audience should see her mom. But really, we're looking at the fact that she looks like Koito. So you just have to imagine an older version of her and such. And then, boom, there you go. But still, I would like to see what her mom was like when she was younger. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of Otaku Elf. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Friday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!